Well, hello there, you beautiful, beautiful, amazing, wonderful people. This is video two. Two for Tuesday. Two for Tuesday. There might actually be a third one. I'm thinking about it. I'm contemplating it. Contemplating it. Keep your eyes peeled because there may be a third. But two for Tuesday. It's like a Domino's pizza deal. And in this video, earlier on, if you missed video one, by the way, we did speak about Liam Payne and the toxicology report. So if you missed that, go check it out because that really does start to put in the missing jigsaw puzzle pieces of what happened on that tragic day, um, which was last Wednesday. So tomorrow will mark exactly one week since it happened. But anyway, what am I talking about? I'm talking about in this Brian Koberger because you guys are fucking absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to the trial. Absolutely, I'm going to the trial. Uh, my GoFundMe, once I've finished recording this video, will be stopped from taking any further donations. For those of you who... I know there was a lot of people who reached out and said, please don't stop it. We want to help. We want to do it. Look, there's a buy me a coffee thing in one of the corners down here. By all means, if you want to use buy me a coffee, you can. But the GoFundMe is done it's done and thank you very very much for everybody who helped in that but look so it brings me to thinking about the case now it brings me to thinking about my thoughts and feelings around the case and and you know i think is important that because i was talking to some people and they said look you can't go over there and start sticking your nose in people's business and you know i thought to myself but people are going to feel that way anyway people are going to have a certain feeling you know you only have to see things in the comments that question why is someone from over yonder interested in u.s crime why don't you fuck off and just cover stuff in your own country and you know bollocks i'll cover what the fuck i like and if you don't like it fuck off and do one um, that's the be all and end all of it. Do you know what I mean? I'll do, we, we're here as a community. I've spent nearly three years building this community and we're a fucking amazing community. And, you know, I want to go to Idaho, though, with a very clear mentality, and that is that feelings around this don't matter. Feelings around this don't matter. Don't matter to me. Don't matter to the Gonsalves family. Don't matter to anyone. This entire situation is state versus Koberger. Koberger is being accused of breaking a law, and it is down to the state to prove that he is the person who broke the law and to administer a punishment in accordance with what they're claiming done, if he is indeed proven to have done it beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, as it stands at the moment, me, my personal mindset around it is that i do not feel that there has been enough evidence shown to joe public that would suggest that there is enough to convict him of this crime but i am fully aware that during the the the, the trial there could be stuff that comes out i am also acutely aware because of what we're now seeing in the delphi case there is a potential that things could come up during the trial that absolutely starts to raise even further doubt on the validity of claims against Brian Koberger, as we are seeing exactly the same things happen in Delphi. We're now hearing of DNA at the crime scene. Um, we're hearing stories that, that you know, Richard Allen may have left before the girls even got there. There's a lot of things that are happening around the Delphi case that would seemingly suggest that the case wasn't perhaps handled adequately enough to to convince the jury that everything was done right and as it should have been done and currently as of recording this the jury seems to be slightly in favor of the defense things could change but it ain't looking good at this stage and it does further raise questions that we ourselves have had about Richard Allen whether that be did Richard Allen do it at all or did Richard Allen just play a part in a much bigger and more sinister situation which has always been my thought process in the the Delphi case is that this was not a one on one or one on two situation this was potentially much bigger and more nefarious but with respect of the idaho 4 case look there are some things around this case that raise questions 
What are the biggest things for you that raise questions? Let me know down below. But for me, this is what raises the most questions at this stage. And that is that currently we have a situation where, as aforementioned, I don't think we've seen enough evidence that would suggest that Brian Koberger did this crime. And I feel that a crime of this nature, a crime of this importance and this magnitude and how much you know, it's garnered interest in the public, that they are seemingly still allowing the gag order to facilitate the media's ability to spread bullshit against the accused. And my concern here, not so much a concern, it's a, it's a thought, and that is that if you are a prosecutor, if you're the prosecution team, and you f you think you've got your man, you think you've got him fucking banged to rights, they've got an ace in the fucking hole, you, in my opinion, you should be of a mindset that the gag order is damaging this case. It is hurting this case. And it's hurting it in a way that there could come a time where the defence turns round and questions the ability for Brian Koberger to actually receive a fair trial. We've recently heard that they're challenging the magic question scenario, which is the question of whether the jury can be unbiased and take all their biases aside and deliver a verdict that's solely based on the evidence given to them. And I think that is going to be extremely problematic if not impossible and that has been caused by the gag order so my mentality around this is if you had an ace in the hole why would you have wanted everything gagged why would you want everything gagged and hidden from the public which in turn has allowed the media to do what i've just said they've done and that is turn this into a shitstorm because the, the knowledge being out there and all the accurate information going out there and all the evidence that I'm sure all the, the people who believe, the guilters say, all the, all the evidence the guilters believe that the prosecution have, then why just not make it public? Evidence is evidence. Evidence doesn't change because such and such knows it. Susan knows it down the road at number 10, Bagley Street. That isn't going to make any difference because the evidence is evidence. They've put together a PCA that's seemingly saying that Brian Koberger's car was in the area. Brian Koberger's car drove from here to here. We believe that he took this route. And so they're willing to put certain things out, but yet all of the stuff that they've put out is questionable. There is a big question mark over it. And another big and important factor in this is at the crime scene itself, which no longer exists because it's got knocked down and buried, um, there was DNA that was unidentified that would seemingly suggest that there was something going on around the situation that somebody wanted to keep off the table. It's indicative of someone being protected or persons being protected. But look, I'm just a skeptic. I don't trust law enforcement because of my own experience with law enforcement, including law enforcement that are in my own family that I know are as bent as a two-bob bit. And look, yes, I have my biases clearly because my experience with law enforcement and what I've seen and what I know that they're capable of doing makes me have a certain thought and feeling about them. There are other people who fully trust law enforcement and because of their trust in it and perhaps their experiences, they will feel a certain way. But police officers, they are human and they make mistakes. I feel that there is nothing around this at the moment that for me is a slam dunk. The only thing that I feel is a hurdle is the DNA on the knife sheath. But my fear around this, and again, it's not really a fear, it's a feeling, is that if this was, again, a, a very clear and precise, there's a sheaf, it was found, there was DNA on it, the DNA belonged to him, he did it, we can prove it, I feel that, that would be, there'd be a lot more clarity around that. And in fact, there isn't any clarity around it. In fact, there's nothing but smoke and mirrors around that, including a statement that would seemingly suggest from the FBI that their they're looking at this DNA scenario wouldn't conclude in the prosecution's favour. So I don't know. I, I just I don't really get it. 
But look, it is what it is, and this is going to go to trial. But most importantly of all, and the point of this video is to say, look, our feelings don't matter in this. We can feel a certain way. And whether we be Joe Public, um, who is watching YouTube videos, whether we be YouTube creators creating content and talking about these cases and expressing our thoughts and feelings, at the end of the day, they don't matter. What matters is there is a trial. What matters is that trial is fair. What matters is that when Brian Koberg of the accused walks into that trial setting, that he is placed in a scenario where he is treated fairly, where all of the evidence is given across and it is given to people who handle that fairly and with respect. And at the end of the day, we can all walk away and say that this was a fair trial. The things that were shown proved either way. And the, the outcome of that trial, we can all feel confident that that was the right one. And that's what's important. That's all that's important. Everybody else doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. No Gonsalves matters. No Mogans matters. You know, the Chapins don't matter. The Canodals don't matter. None of them matter at this moment in time. Yes, it's sad that they are collateral to a tragic event. But that's all they are at this stage. They are collateral to a tragedy... And that tragedy has now moved on to a place where we now have to find out what happened or who did it, ultimately just who did it, and for that to be proven. And then it'll be over, hopefully. Will it ever be over? You tell me down below. I'll catch you all, possibly in video free later. Keep your eyes peeled.